welcome each and every one. How you all doing tonight? How you beautiful mind doing tonight? I'm just here tonight. We're going to talk about basically the kids and how important teaching them from young is important. Because a lot of people don't go to college. A lot of kids don't go to college. And then, even if you don't go to college, we're living in a system where you're dealing with credit, money, economic, all these kind of stuff you're dealing with. And it's very important for everyone to get this kind of information. Because if you don't get this information, it could be damaging to you. Because as we know, knowledge is power. And without knowledge, where can you really go? Okay? So, I want to talk about the kids them. And I'm going to put it like this. Like in school. When you reach a certain class, I'm not even talking about high school. I'm talking about before high school. I think it's important to start teaching them about credit and investment and savings. I think it's important to do that. Because if you do that, then by the time they say that a lot of them don't go to college but if you do that they could still able to manage their money able to deal with a credit card because they have the knowledge for that and able to invest because you already they already been taught so when a lot of kids drop out of school or the parents can't afford to send them to college they lose from all of that and the crazy thing about it because it's been happening for so long sometimes the parents especially the young parents they themselves not even educated about this thing so they can't teach the children about credit investment and all this kind of stuff so we're losing like that it's not my school so i can't say tell them what to do there but what i'm gonna say and what i'm gonna input parents the little you know some of you might know a lot but the liquor you might know other whatever you know is very smart to start teaching your kids teaching your kids a little about investment and credit card when they get a credit card when they apply for a credit card you explain to them exactly what this credit card is about and what they need to do and how they need to deal with this credit card how much money they need to spend a month after credit card and they have to make sure it pay back if they know they don't have that money to make that payment then don't use the credit card this is wise for them to know because a lot of kids before the 20 they already damaged the credit before the 20 years old they they, they, they had a little credit from that they, they get 500 dollars credit card they max it out they never paid and they mess up their credit so with a little guidance that could help save them from that because they understand a credit card is not for is not your money that you just go and just spend it. A credit card is money that you borrow. Someone money. You're using. 
So they want to see you, you, you able to manage that money in a certain way. So once you start managing that money, using it and make your payment, then they, they're going to raise your, your credit score and they might even raise the, the amount of credit you have. So you have a $500 credit. They might get it to $7,000. Who knows? But it's important that the kids know these things. Because without this kind of knowledge, they could damage their credit at 20 years old. So it's very important that if they're not learning it in school, we as the parent try to teach as much as we can from young. I'm talking about young, six, seven, eight, all these things, all these age. So when they hit 18 and could get a credit card, they already know what I need to do. Or parents who could afford a credit card or who have credit for a credit card, let me put it this way. You could have a credit card and give, basically, this is another form of helping your child. You could take out a credit card and give it to them and tell them how Okay, you're only going to spend $50 a month from this card. And before the month ends, you have to pay back this $50. So if you know you cannot make this payment, do not spend the, 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 the money from the credit card. Because you want to mess up your credit. I think it's really important that we teach the kids these things and then you know i mean we as the parents we went through it so we're supposed to have some knowledge about it so we could now pass down that knowledge to the kids from a young age so even though they didn't learn it in school which it would have been nice if they could learn it in school at least the parents able to give them the basic at least the basic so when they grow up and hit 18 they have a, a some knowledge about it and you could say yes you're ready for a credit card so they know if i spend this and i can make my payment i can mess up my credit and you need your credit because if you have good credit and a job you could start looking for a house i would never say a car i would say a house because i recommend you get in a house with a garage to park then you buy the car to park in the garage or the yard Like I said, if you could afford to buy a car and whatever, but taking out a loan on a car, I think you need to get the house and some, then you have somewhere to park the car. Then you get the car that you could park in your garage or in your yard. That's just my opinion. Okay? That's my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you guys. Please share this video. Very important.